Hello everyone, my name's Sean, and in this video I've decided to try my hand, or rather my voice, at some impressions. I've seen a number of these impressions videos on YouTube, and I've decided to be strictly unoriginal and do the same sort of thing. So I hope you enjoy them. I shall start off with some impressions from uh, one of my favorite television shows, The Simpsons. <laughs> right on cue. Look, Smithers, there's a bird has become petrified and lost its sense of direction. Uh, I think it's a rock, sir. Hmm, we'll see what the lad has to say about that. You know, I went to the McDonald's in uh, Shelbyville on Friday night. All right, what? The McDonald's restaurant. I, I never heard of it either, but uh, they have over 2,000 locations in this state alone. <laughs> Must have sprung up overnight. You know the funniest thing, though? It's the little differences. Example. Well, at McDonald's, you can buy a crusty burger with cheese, right? But uh, they don't call it a crusty burger with cheese. Get out. Well, what do they call it? A quarter pounder with cheese. Quarter pounder with cheese? Well, I can picture the cheese, but, uh, so they have crusty, partially gelatinated, non-dairy gum-based beverages? Mm-hmm. They call them shakes. <laughs> shakes. You know what you're getting. Well, I know what I'm getting. Some donuts. I do not hold a grudge against birds. <laughs> oh, okay, I do, but I didn't show them. Story checks out. Free to go. Uh, well, that's good, because I got a hot date tonight. <laughs> Dinner with friends. Dinner alone. Watching TV alone. All right, all right. I'm gonna sit at home and ogle the ladies in a Victoria's Secret catalog. Sears catalog. Now can you let me go already? A man like me doesn't deserve this. <laughs> Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. <laughs> Stupid, sexy Flanders. And don't ask me if I can do anything else as Homer, because I can't. Oh, come on! No, I'm sorry, I can't. I just can't do anything. No. Hello, Mayor Kunmi. I want to remind you that accidents will happen. Like the killing of you. By us. <coughs> <coughs> Faster Frank, the Faster Frank will make you laugh, make you think. He likes to run and then the fling with a... person. Oh, boy. That monkey is going to pay. Well, those were a few voices from The Simpsons. Now I'll move on to another television show, Family Guy. It seems today that all you see is violence in movies and sex. Well, you know. Yeah, it's Peter Griffin. Uh, I don't really know what Peter Griffin says because it's because uh, I don't really watch Family Guy that often. But uh, I know he'll probably say something really crass and rude and. Uh, Probably involving a lot of a lot of body parts and stuff like that. And I don't mean body parts like hand and leg. I'm talking about different body parts. Oh, Peter, please, don't talk like that. You know, the funny thing about Stewie is that I've always sort of pictured Stewie as a younger Mr. Burns. I can just picture Stewie going, Excellent. Now, you remember Herbert, the creepy old man? The funny thing about Herbert is that before Family Guy even existed, I used to use a voice very similar to Herbert's when I was doing an impression of Michael Jackson. Hey, boys and girls. Especially the boys. Now I'd like to move on to one of my personal favorite television shows, Kids in the Hall. There's this kid in my class, and she lives on her own without any parents or guardians, and she's eight, and she took the number off her house so the cops can't find her and take her to jail, and also she took off the mailbox so they can't send her a letter and let her know she's in trouble and has to go to jail, and she's eight, like I say, and these guys smoke, yeah, and they're bad, and you know what? They taught a dog to smoke. Do you believe that? Now this is a story about how people found happiness. But it is not a happy story, okay? I don't know why people think it's so great to be happy all the time. For some people, a vice is only as much as chocolate. For others, it's murder. Somewhere in between lies porn. I don't know what all the fuss is about Gay porno. Gay life is 
car now. I'm crushing your head. Crush, crush, your head is flat. Say, boys, uh, how does the helmet's holding up, eh? Not so good. I'm crushing your head. Crush, crush. Uh-oh. Looks like I'm crushing my head. No, no, no. Got to stop. Got to stop it from crushing head. Oh, thank you, thank you. Now, you know, there's more than one way to learn how to play the blues. Matter of fact, there's two ways. The first is to study your instrument, like your harp or your guitar. And the second way is to get hoit. And I got hoit the best possible way there was by a lady, by a mean, mistreating lady named Kathy. Now, that's Kathy with a K. Please, please, please don't shut off my cable. That's all I got, eh? That and the smokes. And already I'm down to just the last two. Ho, ho, ho. You like my ends? They're fresh. Straight out of my body and out of your plate. Tarzan comes out in this loincloth, and then this lion attacks him, and then Tarzan takes off his loincloth, and the lion turns away because he's scared. Oh, of course he's scared. Who wouldn't be? Okay, now I'm going to move on to a couple of cartoony kind of kids' shows impressions, like Sesame Street and, uh, and some of the ones from the Bugs Bunny and Tweety show. Hey, Bert, look at this. Eh, what is it, Ernie? That's a piece of string around my finger, Bert. And what's it for? Well, this piece of string is supposed to remind me that I have a piece of string on this finger, Bert. Ya da da da, ya da da da, Elmo's world. Ya da da da, ya da da da, Elmo's world. <laughs> Elmo loves his goldfish, his crayon too. That's Elmo's world. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. What's up, Doc? Now, the thing is, when I try to do my impression of Sylvester the cat, I end up getting spit or saliva all over the lens of the camera. I love you. You love me. We're a happy family with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me too? Good night. That was a little bit creepy. Now, the final part of this video, I'm just going to do a few miscellaneous random impressions from real people, non-real people, etc., etc., etc. Hey, hey, you know, I've never actually heard Peter Lorre speak. I, I've only heard people who do impressions of Peter Lorre. So, so, I'm sort of doing an impression of the impressions. Hi, I'm Gilbert Gottfried. Of course I had to say that up front because a lot of you people are looking at me going, Oh, look, it's Gwyneth Paltrow. How'd they get her to do it? Now, this is the most dangerous spider in all of Australia. But watch as I put my finger into his mouth. Ow! What the, what the? Oh, groovy, baby. <laughs> yeah. Dr. Evil, presenting the very sexual, the very toit, Ashton Powers Faja. Has what? His Faja, Dr. Evil. His Furger? Uh, what's a Furger? His Faja. You know, his Faja. Yeah, guild member? I didn't speak freaky deaky Dutch, okay? His father, you know, his dad, his dad, his father, oh, his dad, oh, his father. Yes, I have Dutch accent. Isn't that weird? Yo, what's this? <laughs> Dr. Dre said. <laughs> yeah, don't do drugs. Now, this next voice is one I created myself for a very special little friend of mine. Greeny the Frog. Hello, my name is Greeny, and I am a frog. You know, I've been one of Sean's special friends ever since he was five years old. And you know what? When he was little, I used to have a really high voice. But when he hit puberty and his voice started to change, well, so did mine. <laughs> Isn't that weird? I guess I was just going through metamorphosis. That's it for now, folks. Hope to see you soon.